The minority in Parliament is demanding immediate forensic audit into the finances of the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation, GNPC. The probe is to establish whether GNPC board chair Freddie Blay used GNPC funds to finance the purchase of some 275 buses for the NPP. The group wants Mr. Blay to step aside whilst investigations are carried out. In a statement, ranking member of Parliament's Mines and Energy Committee, Adam Mutawakilu says Mr. Blay has shown what he describes as vulgar opulence and vote buying of the most obscene kind. John News editor Fred Smith joins me uh, with details of that statement. So Fred, what more is captured in that statement? Well, the statement is saying that the minority group in Parliament, they are in shock after the blatant and unconscionable show of vulgar opulence and vote buying by the most obscene kind by the newly elected chairman of the ruling New Patriotic Party chairman, Mr. Frederick Amar Blay, uh, Fred Blay, the main, uh, at the Just End Delegates Congress uh, this weekend. Um, the party says, and I'm reading this unedited, the conduct of Mr. Freddie Blay and the NPP in engaging in historic levels of profligacy has not only angered the vast majority of Ghanaians, it has embarrassingly attracted international condemnation and brought untold shame upon Ghana. And they quote, Dr. John Hayward of the United Kingdom's Conservative Party who attended the NPP's recent conference, the weekend conference, and he, he criticized the party for you know, spending so much on the campaign. Uh, he talked about the uh, posters mm -hmm. and other you know, campaign mm -hmm. materials. And the statement says, we take judicial notice that the newly elected NPP chairman, Mr. Freddie Blay, is not a mere private citizen but a high-ranking public official, having been appointed by President Akufuado as the board chairman of the prestigious Ghana National Petroleum Corporation, GMPC, since last year. Mm. It says, for, some time, uh, for someone who manages our oil and gas reserves, one would have expected the highest form of modesty and prudence in outlook. However, the unconscionable extravagant purchase of 275 buses for the NPP constituency executives this year uh, after depositing his so-called personal funds of three million US dollars in an 11.4 million transaction which has sparked national outrage at the time ambulances are in short supply and pro uh, proceeding further at the Congress grounds to share hot of cash to delegates mm. plus the attribution of tons of goodies in the form of branded snacks and other consumables does not only mark a new law in our country's democratic credentials but demands of us to rise as responsible citizens mm. who care about the future of our nation. And it is for this reason that we demand an immediate forensic audit into our country's hydrocarbons. Uh, and the we there refers to the minority in parliament. Uh, they have a background to this. They're saying that uh, they, including many Ghanaians and members of his own political party, such as Mr. Stephen Intim and others, are legitimately asking for some uh, the source of Mr. Freddie Blay's sudden wealth. And they are also saying that not too long ago, the party was struggling mm. to pay some two million Ghana, uh, Ghana cities that and they owed the Prudential Bank in, in the form of a loan. Mm. All right, so what demands are they making really? In that well, they're saying statement? that they, they want President Akofuado, uh, though they believe the president is also complicit, uh, they must order an investigation into this in the accounts of the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation. Uh, they also demand that Mr. Freddie Blay be made to step aside as GMPC board chairman in the interim ahead of the forensic audit so as not to interfere with proceedings. And they are saying that uh, if President Akufado fails to commission the requested forensic audit within the next two weeks, they shall vigorously explore other avenues within and without parliament to seek redress and safeguard the country's uh, oil and gas reserves. Thank you very much. John, you said it's Fred Smith with details of the statement by the minority in Parliament.